This is a tutorial about how to set up a grease pencil rig. The aim of the tutorial is to show you how to set up an armature in Blender and then use vertex groups to assign all the different vertex points of your grease pencil objects to the rig, enabling you to keyframe your rig in pose mode as you would with any 3D object. So the first thing to say is Blender's grease pencil rigging tools are not quite there yet compared to 3D rigging tools for um, objects. So just to show you what I mean by that, one big one big gap with Blender's um, grease pencil rigging tools, if we just have a quick look at a cube, when you look at the vertex groups of a cube, which you can find under the object data properties, you'll see you've got a little menu here which gives you all kinds of helpful tools such as lock all, remove from all groups, mirror vertex groups, etc, etc. These are really really handy when you're rigging and it just speeds up your workflow. Unfortunately when you select a grease pencil object, go to the object data properties and look at the vertex groups for that, there is no such menu. So there's a number of examples of missing tools like that, particularly in the weight paint area. Here on the weight paint area, you barely have two buttons, two operators to use, and one of them is just one of them is just a, a um, annotation tool. Whereas again, if you look at the 3D tools that are here for this, you've got all these great tools: gradient, average, smear, blur, and then you've got a nice menu here full of helpful things. So it's lacking a lot, and thankfully a lot of people are patching this up now with their own code. But um, time will tell whether or not Blender will address this. But for now, we just have to work with the patches that we've got. So let's talk about this Grease Pencil Vertex Group menu first of all. So that is something that you can download. Um, anyone working at Carson Waterman, it's already available on the server. But if you go to the github.com, you can type in, if you just type in Vertex, Vertex special menu, you should find it. Yep. So this is the code that I wrote. If you have a look on here, and then just dive straight into the code there. Come over here and just download the raw file. So if you download that raw file, when you then come back to Blender, you can go to Edit Preferences, and you can go and find in the install. The, um, the file that you'll have just downloaded, so I've got it there. I know, that one. Install. And then just enable it. And by doing so, when you come back over here now, you'll see that the Vertex Special menu is there now, just as it was for the cube object. So what we are going to do is we're going to create an armature object. And just to give you a quick overview of what we're going to do first with this pencil, we're going to create an armature object which basically puts vertex points in all the important places for this character. And just to give you a quick turnaround of this, this is a character that is several separate objects that are all quite closely pressed together like that, which I tend to find is the best way to approach this. I've kept all of the face and you know the ears and the head bits under one under one grease pencil object called head and then the body is just its own thing and then the arms are their own thing and the paws are their own thing. So we'll put some joints there, there and there. We'll have a spine down here. We'll probably put another one there so it can bend there. We'll probably put another one there, another one there. And we'll then also rig up the ears there, there and there like that. We'll then have to deal with the brows as well, the eyes, <laughs> the actual pupils too, and the muzzle. I'll probably put one in for the stripes as well, just so the stripes can uh, move around. That's basically where we're going to put lots and lots of joints. 